last video we saw in the morphology of atherosclerosis we saw fatty streaks and dots gelatinous lesions or lions then we saw atheromatous plaque in which we saw the gross inside white outside inside yellow outside white etc microscopic structure we saw the fibrous cap cellular area deeper central soft core this much we have seen and we have also seen the diagram fibrous cap cellular area and the deeper core soft central core we have seen that now we have to move on to the fourth one complicated plaque okay see when a fully developed atheromatous plaque um, undergoes pathologic changes then you will get a complicated lesion okay so a fully developed atheromatous plaque which undergoes pathological changes is going to become a complicated plaque is this much clear now what are the changes that can happen calcification ulceration thrombosis hemorrhage aneurysmal aneurysmal dilatation these are the complications that can occur this actually this uh, complicated lesion is most serious and it has harmful effects and can even cause death okay these are serious changes and can cause death okay so this is what you have to focus on now complicated plaque calcification occurs uh, more commonly in advanced uh, atheromatous plaque especially in the aorta and coronary arteries they are also called as coronaries the diseased intima cracks like an eggshell when the vessel is incised and opened this is common calcification is common when the you know when the intima the intima can crack intima cracks like eggshell intima cracks like eggshell when the vessel is incised and opened okay when the vessel is incised and opened that time you can hear cracks like sh uh, like an eggshell that is calcification in uh, microscopy what will you see the calcium salts are deposited in the vicinity of the necrotic area and the soft lipid pool deep in the thickened intima so definitely it is in the deeper a uh, soft core right in the deeper soft core in the necrotic area you can see calcification in the soft lipid pool this form of atherosclerotic intimal calcification differs from monkeberg's medial calcific arteriosclerosis because the monkeberg's medial arteriosclerosis affects the media tunica media however we are talking about the intima in this type of calcification did you understand this is the microscopic structure now let us move on to ulceration we are moving on to ulceration please in ulceration what happens because of um, hemodynamic forces or mechanical trauma because of these what can happen the layers which are covering the soft material of atheroma they can ulcerate and they can discharge the emboli which has lipid material and debris into the blood stream okay it will discharge this into the blood stream and um, yellow lipid debris in the base of the ulcer so there will be in the base of the ulcer you can see yellow lipid debris okay so at base of ulcer you can see yellow lipid debris okay occasionally atheromatous plaque in a coronary artery may suddenly rupture into the arterial lumen forcibly and cause thromboembolic occlusion so if it happens suddenly 
okay that's why they said this is a very deadly condition so in a coronary artery let's say there can be a thrombo coron coronary artery there can be a thrombo embolic occlusion due to sudden rupture into the arterial lumen okay in the coronary artery you can have a thromboembolic occlusion due to this ulceration let's move on to thrombosis what exactly is there in this diagram did we focus on this complicated arteriomatous plaque lesion leon there is narrowing of the lumen of the coronary due to fully developed arteriomatous plaque which has dystrophic calcification in its core this calcification you can see here this blue one blue colored uh, blue colored uh, you can see this purple colored deposits here these are the calcification this is the central core cholesterol clefts and calcification here calcification affects what the intima okay let's move on to thrombosis now thrombosis is a complication that can occur to an arteriomatous plaque in thrombosis what in all points you will have to write the ulcerated plaque and the areas of endothelial dam damage are vulnerable sites for formation of superimposed thrombi so you can have super imposed thrombi they are vulnerable they get dislodged dislodged and they can become emboli they are called as mural emboli okay not much required here we are moving on to hemorrhage so hemorrhage is the next complication that we want to tackle hemorrhage <coughs> Let's look at everything about hemorrhage now. So, in complicated plaque, so far we have covered what and all: calcification, ulceration, thrombosis. Three are over: calcification, ulceration, thrombosis. Now, hemorrhage and aneurysmal dilatation. Five points totally. Hemorrhage, <coughs> intimal hemorrhage may occur in uh, arteriomatous plaque. Intrinsically, we are talking about the hemorrhage which is going into the intima. So this can occur from the blood, from blood in the vascular lumen. That is, from the lumen itself, it can enter the arteriomatous plaque because there is an ulcer. If there is an ulcer, blood enters the plaque. from blood uh, from the vascular lumen blood can also enter from the vasa vasorum from the adventitia blood can enter from vasa vasorum from adventitia okay so these are the two possibilities of blood entering the plaque because of rupture of rupture of thin thin walled capillaries blood can enter from vasa vasorum from adventitia it can enter the plaque okay hemorrhage is particularly a complication common complication in coronary arteries it's a very common thing that you will see in coronary arteries write this word everywhere in coronary arteries only it will happen 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 the hematoma formed at the site contains numerous hemosiderin laden macrophages now where do you see this more in coronary artery now there is a hematoma formed inside the plaque this hematoma will have hemosiderin hemosiderin laden that is iron right iron laden macrophages that's it this is the hemorrhage did you understand do you want me to explain with a diagram let me explain it here go back here to the arteriomatous plaque and let me explain it 
okay let me explain with this diagram what they are telling is if the if the atheroma ulcerates the blood can enter from the lumen also from the adventitia blood can enter into the atheroma if the capillaries rupture now what happens there is a hematoma formed here there is a hematoma formed here this will be full of hemosiderin laden macrophages did you understand so easy right this is the hemorrhage last one here aneurysmal dilatation though atherosclerosis is an intimal disease advanced lesions are associated with secondary changes in the media so there will be there will be secondary changes in the media and secondary changes in the adventitia though it is an intimal disease please note this atherosclerosis is actually intimal disease but still there will be secondary changes in the media and adventitia yes. in the yes in the media what and all will happen let me tell you atrophy say atrophy atrophy thinning of media thinning atrophy thinning fragmentation of internal elastic lamina fragmentation of internal elastic lamina all these are going to contribute to the weakening of the media atrophy thinning and uh, fragmentation of internal elastic lamina in adventitia what and all can happen in adventitia fibrosis say fibrosis fibrosis yes fibrosis and inflammatory changes can occur now what will happen because of all this the wall will be weak see first of all intima has been affected intima already was affected right now there is secondary changes in media and adventitia now what the whole wall arterial wall has become weak arterial wall weakening will result in aneurysmal dilatation aneurysmal dilatation did you understand i hope you know what uh, aneurysm is see normal blood vessel then there's an atheromatous plaque which is going to become complicated and there is a aneurysmal dilatation caused okay so we have seen in two full videos morphology of atherosclerosis fatty streaks dots gelatinous lesions lions atheromatous plaque gross and microscopic structure complicated uh, plaque in complications we saw calcification ulceration thrombosis hemorrhage and aneurysmal dilatation bye bye bye